Romero che ti ha portato le brioche, dai. Let's open it, brought you breakfast. Oh, here we go. Ok. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm tired, but I'm doing good. Welcome to my corner, you know, I appreciate you taking the time to do this. Uh, you know, I was thinking how me and you met back in the days in Miami when I was a professional fighter. And, uh, you know, your personality and your uh, charisma among your incredible art always inspired me. So, oh, thank you. Also, when uh, you invited me at the Art Basel party, I was remembering when I make you the surprise when I brought you Vander Holyfield and You know, you yes. together were amazing and people went crazy. And also, Ivander, for me, in the boxing world was my inspiration. So who was your inspiration in the art world? Uh, well, I have many inspiration, many people that inspire a friend, you know, from England. You know, they are an artist from my town called uh, Francisco Brennan, a very well-known artist who passed away from my town. And then when I moved to America, I like very much the artists like Andy Warhol, Keith Haring, Roy Stein. I mean, I have so many people that inspire me. I mean, from every field you can imagine. Yeah, no, I know. And you remember when was your first approach to the artwork? I remember. I mean, the first artwork that I created and I sold, yes, I do. I mean, because I do, I do art since I was a kid, you know what I mean? So... I've been doing art for a long time. And uh, how how that approach uh, has changed your life, if changed your life? What do you mean? What, what type of approach do you mean? When did you discover the art world? How, how the art world cha has changed your life? Oh, well, it was not a discovery like one day. It was uh, many events that made me be what i mean being an artist being like doing what i do today it was not just one thing you know what i mean like that happened like a lot of time people win the lottery and something happened and there's a major change it was somebody meeting somebody and get married and becoming rich and successful it's not like that it was basically many events that happened that made me feel like was many discoveries you know what i mean it's yeah. a little bit like a like a little bit like a like an onion like many layers And the onion has many layers at the same time, like, uh, you know, like a, a, like, a, like a gift, a wrapping paper. You open this, you know, have to open little by little. And then it's like little by little, you know, just. No, no, it, no. Thank you. And that's to you. What do you think art means for you? Oh, everything. I mean, I love what I do. I, I don't know what else I could do. And, um, but I definitely. You know, enjoy very much being in the studio, painting, spend hours and hours here. It just means everything to me. It means the world to me. And, you know, your background, you, you come from Brazil. So you think there is any differences between the art you were painting back in Brazil and the art later on you painted it in Miami? Uh, I think uh, a lot of people say that my art is colorful because I'm from Brazil. I'm from the tropics. And... Um, Maybe yes, maybe no, because you know, there's a lot of artists in Brazil that they don't paint as colorful as my work. And um, I do think that sometimes you change the environment and the environment have an impact on you. So I think you know, more of my art, I see more universal some sort of inspiration. My, my inspiration comes from the whole universe, not necessarily from one place. Yeah, no, definitely. Also your art... It's very colorful. He exprime not only colors, but also, I think, joy and happiness. Oh, thank you. So uh, definitely, you know, it's also a way that you can touch people life. Cool. Yeah. So you think, so what, the, the things that triggers me about art is, uh, and any kind of art, why you think people express interest in art that could be any kind of art i think because it takes people for a whole different state of mind you know looking at the painting looking at the sculpture listen to the music going to a theater going to see ballet going to the movies i think take us transport us to another place that we are constantly looking for to find different you know source of inspiration 
for us to keep our life going. You know, because without that, how can, you know, we need to, you know, exchange experiences, you know, ex exchange adventures. And then I think that's one thing that people go to galleries and museums to see other people's adventure. Yeah, I also think, and tell me if I'm wrong, it's also a way that, you know, like, it's like a trace of the humanity, you know, in this world, you know, because you live yeah. somewhere. Definitely, definitely all the adventures that people had and all the, you know, curiosity, all the creations are all left behind and we learn about, you know, the arts and the culture of people, civilizations, you know, like in particular you, you come from Italy, that how much history of the, of the history of humanity, of Western uh, civilization happened right there in you know, in Italy. So you can learn a lot through going through the streets of Rome, you know, like just go up to the street and you can see a lot of stuff. No, definitely. What What's most important for you and what do you want to leave to people later on also with your legacy? Uh, which sign and which, uh, not only artistic talking like, but, you know, your art has very, very many, like, faces you know you did art on uh, sports on you know on many different fields so what what's the main things that you want yeah to I, I mean, well i mean i definitely hope that people when they think about my art they're going to think about happiness about uh, a good life good time a good things in the world that you can you know that you enjoy i mean my art's about uh, the enjoyment of life which is very important, especially, you know, in the world we are living, you know, it's, it's nice yeah. to, you know, look at your art and, you know, and take a smile because, you know, you really fulfill your heart and makes you very happy. You know, every time I look at your art, especially, you know, the, the, the you know, the frame I got from you, the gloves, and you were very nice to do this sketch for me back in the days when I was in Miami, you know, every yeah. time I look at it, you know, it gives a smile on my face. And I think, you know, and especially in this era, it's very important that people don't forget to be kind and, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you're right. Romero, well, it was short and intense, and uh, I really appreciate you, and I really appreciate our friendship. I'm really happy that, you know, we met, and uh, I hope to see you soon. Yeah, no, I hope to see you soon. Uh, happy New Year for you and your family. Yeah. And I can't wait to see you uh, back to Miami, okay? Okay. Ciao, Romero. Ciao. Ciao, bello. Ciao.